Hey everybody, it's Makeup Mina Ree. Welcome back to my channel. So I have been seeing this challenge go around the last couple of days. A couple bigger YouTubers have done it. And it's not a new challenge I was looking. It's, you know, was done months ago by some other people. Here, you know, I would go ahead and try it. I'm not really one to do a lot of these challenges, but this one looks sort of fun and funny. It is the doing your makeup in alphabetical order challenge. I have written down a list of all the products that I use in alphabetical order, and we are gonna attempt to put them on in that order. And I'm telling you, there's some shit on here that goes on way before it's supposed to. So if you guys wanna see how this is gonna turn out, then make sure to stay watching. Okay, I had to make sure to put my hair back because this shit is gonna get a little crazy. The first thing in the alphabet quarter list is blush. I decided to use a blush that's super pigmented. I'm gonna pile that shit on today so that it will go, you know, come through the foundation after I put it on. And I'm gonna be using the Makeup Geeks blush in the color XOXO. I know you guys see me use this all the time, but this bitch is super bright if you're not careful. So I'm gonna pile that on. And yeah, this is already scary. Putting blush on bare skin with nothing under it. Lord. Okay, now that I look like I'm from the fucking 80s, let's get on with the next thing on the list, which is contour. I figured I would cheat a little bit today and use a um, cream contour. This is the NYX uh, Wonder Stick. I don't use a lot of cream products like this because I'm hella greasy as it is. And uh, you know, anything creamy and greasy is a no-no for my face. Dug this shit out of the closet and she's getting used today. I figured that this would probably probably be better, you know, poking through any foundation. And yeah, God, this is gonna be a mess. A little down here, chin. And I just feel like more is better in this situation because it's gotta shine through whatever you put on top. So we are painting, painting. All right, I'm gonna go ahead in with my beauty blender and blend that in. God, I look like I have a helmet on. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and blend this all in as best as I can. And she is looking messy. God, this is ugly. Yes, queen, looking <laughs> good. If y'all hear anybody, Obviously a little munchkins in here with me, Xavian's in the room, distracting. <laughs> so ugly. I know you wanna throw something at me. I know, but I don't have nothing I can throw at you. Okay, so the contour is on and she is looking muddy. So the next thing is eyebrows. Use the NYX um, eyebrow pencil in the color chocolate. I really like this eyebrow pencil, but it's a little too light for me, but you know what? It's gonna have to do for today. Okay, so my eyebrows are on and I swear in real life, if I did not put anything under my eyebrows like this, they would be gone in like an hour, just wiped right the hell off because my face is so greasy. It looks hella greasy now. Okay, Jesus help me. Next is eyeliner. I'm just gonna go in with my um, NYX Matte Liquid Eyeliner. I'm just gonna do a thin line. I'm not trying to do a wing or anything like that because I don't have any foundation on my damn face. And what's the point? got a little bit thin liner going. Next is eyeshadow and I don't have anything on my eyelids to keep this eyeshadow in place. I don't know how the hell this is gonna even work. Might be gone by the time I'm done with this video, but we're gonna try it anyway. With the Huda Beauty Obsessions palette, really, really pretty colors. So I figured I would just do maybe like a light red with a little bit of shimmer. Try not to get it on the eyeliner that's already there. This is gonna be fun. I'm gonna go in with this color here as a transition. I 
And like my eyelids are hella sticky, hella greasy. And this is not go going on smooth like it should. We're gonna try. Okay, there's one. Shut up, Xavier's down there laughing at me. She's an aunt, she knows I'm on a struggle bus here. You look crazy. I look like a fucking clown, like. You do look like a clown. Looks like you got pink eye, like pink eye <laughs> star now. <laughs> I definitely look like I have some kind of disease with all this shit all over my face. But hopefully it'll come together in the end because I, don't know. I can't be out looking like this all day. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with that red shade here and put that right below to continue this pink eye look. Try not to put it on my eyeliner that I've already put down for some damn reason. All right, I'm gonna blend as best I can that other shade because my eyelids are not cooperating. This just goes to show if you guys don't use a primer or a base for your eyeshadow, look how pale and sad this eyeshadow looks. It should be really bright and vibrant. <sighs> Good base is everything. Don't mind my furry ass eyebrows. I tell you, it look they look fine, and then I get up here in front of all these lights, and I'm like, what the hell did all those hairs come from? So ignore them, okay? Thank you so much. You should totally go out looking like that. Like this? Yeah, it's a fashion statement. The, it's the blush, man. It's just, and you know what? I legit, there was a time in my life when I thought this was cute and I would go out looking like that. So go in with, let me see, a shimmery shade to help save this eyeshadow look. I think I'm gonna just go in with my finger on this red color here and put that in the middle of my eyelid to detract from the mess that's going on. Ugh, it's just not sticking because I don't have anything on. <sighs> Jesus, take the wheel. So that's all I'm doing for the eyeshadow because there's literally nothing else that I can do besides make it a little worse. Let me pull a little color underneath to complete this um, pink eye look. Oh, okay, this is, <laughs> this is getting worse and worse. Next is the foundation. So I figured I would use a foundation that sort of goes on a little sheer. This is the um, Maybelline Fit Me, one of my favorite foundations. I do like the fact that it goes on a little lighter. It's not so thick. And I figured I needed something that would allow all this gorgeousness to shine through. Going with my beauty blender and yeah, start covering all this up to see what we get. My daughter is just staring at me over there in disgust. <laughs> the foundation is turning brown. Shut up. You can definitely see a little bit of the contour, although it looks a little muddy, um, and a little bit of the blush shining through. Not as bad as I thought it was gonna look. I thought it was just gonna be one big blurry muddy mess. But it's not that bad. This is a highlight. Use my concealer as a highlight. Otherwise, I would have done concealer earlier on in the list, but I use mine as a highlight. So I'm gonna use the Makeup Revolution Concealer. I've been loving this stuff lately. I just purchased it recently and I really like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and highlight the areas I usually highlight and <laughs> pray for the best. Go back in with my Beauty Blender and blend this out. So normally I would go and set that because I feel like I'm gonna be a mess. It's gonna be creasy. I'm also gonna highlight with a powder because that's usually what I do is. So I'm gonna go in with another Makeup Revolution product and this is the highlight palette, this color here, and just do a quick highlight on the area that I usually do, which is just my cheekbones and a little bit like above my brow. 
can see the highlights popping through. All right, so next is the lashes. I might help this eye look a little better. So I'm gonna go with some of my, like these are Misha lashes with, you know, Coco lashes. These are a little older. As you can see, they've seen better days. But I seen on this list that I had to put mascara on after I put my lashes. So a bitch ain't gonna waste a good pair of lashes for no video. I don't put my mascara on after lashes. I always put that on before. Go ahead and put these lashes on real quick. I got the lashes on, um, so you might see a little bit of glue because it is drying, but I'm pretty sure the glue is the last of my damn concerns with this look. Next is lipstick. I think I'm gonna go in with a, this is an Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is Dazed Liquid Lipstick. Go ahead and put that on. So next is a mascara. Of course, I'm going in with my all-time favorite, Maybelline Colossal. Go ahead and do my lower lash line and then put a little bit on my upper lashes because I don't know if you guys can see, but it looks like I have, oh shit, this lash is coming off. Um, I don't know if you guys can see, but it looks literally like I have two layers of lashes because my little lashes underneath are confused as to why they're not sticking with homies up top because they have nothing to help them stick. Okay, so the lashes sort of save this eyeshadow. I mean, um, from a distance, she looks cute, but you don't want to get too close, so we're not going to get close. I'm too close. <laughs> <laughs> the last thing on my list is setting powder, so thank the Lord because my under eyes are screaming for something to be put on there so they don't crease. Just go ahead and use my Laura Mercier translucent powder. You guys all know that I love and adore her, but she's a bougie bitch. She costs a little bit of money, but she's definitely worth it if you guys have not tried it. Sorry, I'm fumbling looking for a damn brush that I'm pretty sure I didn't bring upstairs. Under my eyes where I usually set. And my forehead where I put my concealer, basically wherever I put that concealer as a highlight is where I wanna set my face. Okay, let me go ahead and take my hair down so y'all can get the final look okay everybody here is the final look it's actually not as bad as i thought it would be um the contour you can sort of still see and the blush you can sort of still see through the um foundation so i'm not too worried about that the eyeshadow is hella tragic like it's hella tragic this should be so much more brighter i already know it's like already creasing because my eyelids are so damn greasy with nothing under there to hold them in place. Literally, by the time I turn this camera off, this eyeshadow will be gone. Lashes too, because my lashes are very straight and they need a little bit of mascara previous to putting on any lashes so that they will stick together. So I sort of look like I have a double lash. I don't think it turned out that bad. I'm pleasantly surprised. Definitely not um, something that I will do on a regular basis but really surprised that it turned out as good as it did. If you guys have seen this video before, let me know in the comments below how it turned out. I know that the few YouTubers that I watched, of course, their makeup turned out perfect, but that's not how we do over here. So if you guys like these kinds of like makeup challenges, you know, videos, know in the comments below if you have any suggestions. This one was actually pretty fun, so I didn't mind doing it. Hey, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Get your booty in the air over there, ho. Come on, man. These lashes gotta go.